Hello everybody, welcome back. Miner Mountain here, playing some GTA 5 online today, doing a contact mission for Simeon, uh, our dollars per minute series. See how much money we can make, so let's get after it. I don't normally do this mission, it's called Chasers. It's a Simeon mission, contact mission. I don't grind this one normally, I landed on it, I think I might have hit random. Um, we're going to do it, see how it goes, see what kind of money we get, so... Anyway, uh... Jump in the Zentorno, go after him here. I know Rockstar's come out with a lot of cars lately. The Zentorno, I, I, I still really love. It's my staple car. It's cheap compared to some of the new stuff out there. It's really cheap. I got this golden gun. You guys get the golden gun? You get a quarter million dollars for getting it. I think the time has passed to get it, though, as far as when this video came out. Uh, I think I got an unlock in Red, the new Red Dead game, but I don't have it. I should probably play it. I'm not going to now. Put it in the comments. If you think I should play that? Get that game and play it. Put some videos up. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'm crazy. <laughs> I mean, not like I'm going to show you how to do something. I just, you know, I'll show you how I do it. I'm not the best. Never said I was. But maybe you can learn from my mistakes. Maybe you can learn from my, my success. But the Zentorno, it's worth the money. You'll spend more probably decking it out than you will on, on the Zantorno, but you know, it's it's a great car. So he went up into these hills here. We gotta go get this car for Simeon. Uh, yeah, don't get lost in here. If you take the wrong turn, it can actually lead you far, far away from where you want to be. So, so take it slow, plan your route, pay a little attention where you're going. Okay, we already caught up to this guy. He's got this uh, Corvette look-alike. I'm gonna try to get this car without getting any damage. I'm just gonna try to pull him out here, see what happens. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, okay. Oh! <laughs> well, you know, when you try to do something cleanly, it, it ends up being dirty. Alright, that was plan A. That didn't work. Plan B, we're just going to roll up behind him and shoot him. Uh, now, like I said before, your, your damage can affect... Actually, I don't know if I said it before. But damage can affect your bottom line. Not a whole lot, but, you know, a couple thousand dollars, I believe. So when you take him out, try to do minimal damage to the car, try to take him out as quickly as possible. Obviously there I broke the windshield and I'm going to be breaking more glass and so I'm going to be shooting at him from, oh, probably about his 7, 8 o'clock position. So alright, we caught up to him. We're going a little further out of town than I want to be, but you know, more time in the mission, more money. We'll just uh, keep track of that uh, tally when we get there. Alright, take him out. Oh, nope, don't want a pistol. Don't want a pistol. Let's go automatic. If you're killing someone in the car, you always want to go automatic. Car to car wars. Unless you're really good with the stickies, but <laughs> you blow this thing up, you ain't getting paid. I promise. Alright, alright, alright. I guess we're gonna have to get up on him here. Nice, alright. Took him out. And <laughs> is it gonna roll off a cliff? Oh, jeez. I thought it was going to go off a cliff there for a second, and that, that other SUV hit it. Alright, and that'll get the cops on you right away. Obviously. Alright, jump in the car, take off here, and... Oh. Well, we lost the door. <laughs> okay, okay, no big deal. I'm sure Simeon won't mind. Just keep going. <sighs> I just... I just see that my cash pile dwindling every, every time, every second I'm in this mission, the, the money's just going down, it needs to be going up. Okay, we gotta lose the cops before it's gonna tell us where to go. It's gonna tell you to go to, to the dealership where Simeon works. Um, if you played GTA a few times, that's he's one of your first contacts, so it's gonna be uh, something you should know where it's at. If it's not, you should figure out where the dealership is. That's where I'm heading right now, even though I don't have a blip on the map for it. I, I know where it's at. Uh, and the cops only got two stars, but when you're in a mission, the cops seem a little bit more ruthless. They'll stay on you a lot longer. Uh, so, you know, just hang with it. Especially here in these hills. There's not a whole lot you can do about it in these roads. They're really not good for getting away from cops. I'm going to go into town. That's the best way to get rid of cops as far as I'm concerned. I mean, you can ride out into the hills and stuff, but great. You're on the top of a mountain with no wanted stars. What are you going to do now? You have to hike back into town. Anyway, roll into town here. Take some unnecessary risks here, unnecessary jumps, why not, GTA, and 
Ooh, I didn't think that bolt was going to hurt the car that much. You know, looking at the car now, I think it looks a lot better without the hood. What do you guys think? Put it in the comments. Got some time here. You guys go ahead and hit that like button. Subscribe. Put in the comments what you want to see. I do do requests. And I do pr appreciate my, my subscribers. Each and every one of them. Yeah, so losing these cops is kind of brutal right now. So I am almost to the dealership. I mean, it is literally just like three blocks away. Nevertheless, I'm going to go there. It's actually, the dealership's a great place to hide from the cops, too, because you've got... You've got exits, you've got a place you can move around. It's multiple exits, you've got a place you can move around. Uh, if a cop comes down one road, you can turn down this side of the side. You, you'll see it here. And I, my approach, I usually go past ammunition like this, too, because it gets the cops to spawn somewhere else. But yeah, you can go in here. This is where the Corona is going to be, right in front of us here. And you can get out to the left here as well, but just keep an eye on the cops. We just sit here for. I don't know, probably 20, 30 seconds, we'll get rid of these stars. Provided the cop doesn't see us. But we've been in this mission, what, six minutes? Probably be seven minutes by the time we're done. That's not bad, that's pretty quick. Uh, it could have been quicker if I would have got the car quicker, but I guess that would cut into the bottom line as well, because you do get paid the longer you are in a mission, uh, up to a point. So, uh, look at this car. Oh, man. <laughs> just, just took off the back bumper, too. Oh, well. Oh, well. That's what happens. It's still worth money, guys. You can still make money. <laughs> it's just cosmetic damage, right? <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, he's not too happy. I can tell by the way. What do we get? What do we get? A little over seven minutes in the mission. Mission passed. 15 job points. Oh, just shy of 11 grand. That's not bad. For seven minutes of work, that's not bad. I mean, I'm probably not going to grind that one just because of all the things that could happen. But anyway, that's all I got time for. Mine or mine now. Peace.